Hello, Earthlings, and welcome back to my channel. We're on today's shit show. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I like to style or how I have been styling my curly hair in the summer. Summer curly hair routine. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really like. <laughs> My mom was right. I really did fall when I was little. <laughs> it's 98 degrees today. 98. 98. On a serious note. I really wanted to show you guys how I've been styling my hair because I haven't been on YouTube in a while. And my hair has gone through some changes. I dyed it once since the, my last video. And I didn't get to show you guys my fresh dye because... I didn't do a video or anything like that. So now the hair, the hairs are completely faded of its color. So it's back to like that, that brassy, um, yellow bleached kind of color. But that's fine. I've decided that I'm going to keep it like that because it's summertime. But, 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 <laughs> pick a butt. As you guys can see, there's not that much volume going on in my hair and my hair looks very, very shiny and that is because there is a thick cast, a thick gel cast going on on my hair right now. And I don't know what accent this is, but I hope that you can bear with me. So as you can see, my hair looks pretty like shiny and like crunchy. <laughs> and if you watched my last video, I was going in on the crunchy effects of hair and stuff. and. I've noticed, I've realized, I've come to appreciate that I actually really, really like the crunchy thing because because it, it just works out. Like, it really makes your hair alive. Like, it makes your hair stay alive longer. And I fucks with that. I really do. Especially since I haven't been diffusing. This is my air drying results. This is what we're looking like right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna show you because... Because you deserve it. Let's get into how I like to style my hair during the summer. It's really hot outside, so we don't want to do it diffuse. Honestly, we don't want to do too much, period. The products that I'm going to be using today, um, it doesn't really matter what products I use. I just have a routine that I go by. As I've been like styling my hair, you know, and I've, as I've been learning, I think I've mastered it. I think I've figured it out. You get what I'm saying? Let me just, let me show you what I'm trying to say. So today I am using Maui Moisture's shampoo and conditioner and this is the Shea Butter line for dry and damaged hair. I figured that since I'm gonna do a protein treatment today or since I already did a protein treatment today I should you know balance that out with a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner so that's what I did. So my first step before I shampooed is actually using a scrub. So this is the scrub that I use. I think that I included this in my last video or my second to last video, one of those. I went to the beach yesterday and the day before I was at the pool. I figured, you know, my hair is probably really dirty full of like that chlorine and all that sand. I think it was a good idea that I used this scalp scrub just to get rid of all that buildup, all that extra sand, all that nasty, all that gunk out of my head. I also use this little like scrubby, brush type of thingy i got this for like three dollars at the beauty supply pre-quarantine i'm not mad at it i really love it i love what it does this is i forgot to even tell you what it's called this is the tea tree lemon sage refreshing moisture scalp scrub by ren pure and it smells it smells like tea tree it smells good it smells clean like it has a clean you can see the beads in there i tend to get a lot of buildup for some reason depending on the products that i'm using so the scrub is definitely good let's let's just get on to the styling part of this video the routine that i always go by is always includes a leave-in deep conditioner a defining cream a gel and an oil my hair was wet is wet i'm gonna wet it some more because i like when my hair is drenched while i style it i find that that's how my hair styles the best dry hair promotes frizziness and to be honest Dry hair just makes my hair frizzy. It might not make your hair frizzy, but it makes my hair frizzy. So I find that, you know, re-wetting is amazing. And like the rest of my hair is still pretty wet. Oh, I forgot to tell ya. The protein treatment that I use. When I wash my hair, I always use a deep conditioner or a protein treatment. So I literally go like one week deep conditioner one the next week a protein treatment today i used a protein treatment but the one that i use i have a new one 
because I have like three of these because I've really been digging this protein treatment to be honest and there's two different ones from this brand that I really love and this is the extremely damaged hair repair intense protein treatment and it was two dollars two dollars it might be even out there on sale for one dollar you never know to be honest this protein treatment might be even better than the Shea Moisture um, line what's it called the blue one you know what I'm talking about I did a video on it I'll link it right here yeah so this is the one that I use and I love how soft my hair ends up like looking and I love how my curls end up like bouncing right back and I'm hoping that my curls are still there in a lot of it but you know what I'm probably chatting because I'm pretty sure why would my curls leave me why would you do something like that I treat you so well so I'm just re-wetting my entire head to make sure that there's no no space for frizziness no space now we really wet 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 like i mentioned before my first step which is a leave-in conditioner which in this case is going to be the brand okay's black jamaican castor oil leave-in deep conditioner Ugh. and i'm not going to take too much because you don't need that much to be honest you know what i have a scissor i have a scissor i have one. i have one literally right here i'll be active so I'm going to take like that much for right now, Ooh, warm it up from the root. I'm just going to saturate my entire head. After that, I like to split my hair down the middle. So I would usually put more leave-in conditioner, but my hair feels really, really soft right now. But the next product that I'm going in with is going to be the cream product. And this is the Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream by the brand Curls. And this is one of this has been one of my favorites for like years now. So I'm just going to take a little bit and then I'm going to do it section by section. So I'm going to do this, for, this side first and then this side. Sometimes it be like that. You know, you just gonna have to. Ow. Okay. Same thing for the other side. I like to rake my hair all the way from the side because when it's gonna promote some volume by like making sure that your hair is not like super stuck or drying flat. And then also that way you're getting all that leftover product that was on your hands on like your roots. I don't like to put too much product on the top because like I've mentioned before, that's going to weigh your hair down. But I do want to make sure that there is some product because then what tends to happen when I don't add any product is that this is going to like dry up all like frizzy, you know, like it needs some moisture, like you looking mighty ashy type of vibe opposed to like you making sure that there's like some product and... It's looking nice and moisturized and hydrated, you know? I've been like raking most of my product in lately and I don't know if that's because my hair is getting longer now. Oh my God, talking about hair getting longer, my little hairs are starting to find this way right back into my ass. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I don't like that. This is the part where I start styling my hair with the Demon brush. I'm doing it the lazy way. I've been splitting my hair into two sections instead of four and I find that that works just as fine. I just start with small sections like this small or maybe a little thicker. I grab the section and I just pass the Demon brush. And then I just do the same thing. So I'm just going to finish my entire head and then come back with how my hair looks and what my following steps after styling my hair with the brush. I have like four different videos of me styling my hair with a diamond brush. So if you would like to see that, I will definitely link them above. I also have a curly hair playlist that I really think you guys should watch because it's literally just all of my curly hair videos. And you can see how like my hair goes from like really short to long. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. Let me know what you think if you decide to watch my playlist so after my hair has been styled with a diamond brush i go in with my gel and the gel that i'm using is not your mother's frizz control sculpting gel i'm gonna take like that much for one section and then just build my way up if i need to so all i do is scrunch the gel in and then i don't know if you can tell but the curls start forming as i scrunch i'm gonna do the other side now 
I'm going to flip my hair and add some more gel so I can get the parts of like the roots or the those back parts that I definitely didn't wasn't able to like reach or anything like that so Alright, so that's pretty much it for the styling. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. I'm gonna go take a little walk or whatever and I'm probably gonna come back and then sit in front of the fan for a few and then just let it completely air dry and then I'm gonna show you guys what my hair ends up looking like and how I break the cast. I will be back with the following steps. So... The way I like to break my cast, and you can do this with absolutely any oil, is by using a hair serum or a hair oil, rubbing some on my hands, and then scrunching my hair gently. And that's how I like to break the cast. I used to love using argan oil, but I just ran out. So this is the hair serum that I'm going to use, and this is Pattern Beauty's Jojoba Serum. And it works wonderful as well. I just really fucked with the argan oil. A couple pumps. This is just so you can prevent frizz. Because since you have oil in your hand, it's just going to pre prevent your hair from, like, getting frizzy. I kind of just like to break that cast. And you can kind of hear your hair breaking out. So I don't know if you can see a difference. I really can't see a difference in the camera right now. But this is the side where I broke the cast. And as you can see, I still have minimal frizz, which is literally all I want out of life. So this is how the hairs are looking oh my god <laughs> i already knew i was gonna fuck with it because i've been really digging air drying to be honest especially like it's really really hot it's hot it's hot hace calor i really like this look it's like the same look as always but i really like it every time i do it okay so that is literally all I do for all I do as if it was not like a whole bunch of fucking steps but this is all I do to for my summer curly hair routine it's way easier than my non summer curly hair routine because I'm not diffusing and to be honest I really like how my curls are looking and these days you know lately these days I've been sacrificing volume well bring it back bring it back these days I've been sacrificing volume for definition because wow like look at this and also like volume tends to it tends to just like come with a little bit of frizziness which I don't mind at all to be honest like I don't mind at all but it does make my hair look not as fresh if you get what i'm saying look at this like look at my curls what <sighs> come on now come on now come on now Whew. and it's easier because my hair is longer now so i'm not gonna have to like i don't have to be like just doing the most just trying to diffuse and stuff. you could also use a fan i think i learned that from georgia and once i heard her saying that i actually used to do that when i was younger like way younger so maybe that's like a caribbean thing or something mm -hmm. 